Hi everyone and welcome to Mike's Dive Store. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be talking to you about hand signals. Over the next week I'm going to be sharing with you the different type of hand signals that you need to know when you're diving. From the safety hand signals, to the important emergency hand signals, to the fun awesome sea creatures. You're going to learn them all, the most important ones you need to know when you're diving. So by the end of this week you're going to be an underwater hand signal pro. So today I'm going to be starting off with some more basic hand signals. So this is the hand signals that you need to know when you're diving. Most of these hand signals that you will find out in your open water course. Ready to find out? Alright, let's get started. So some of the hand signals that I'll be telling you today is something that you probably will already know if you've done your open water course. But I'll be sharing with you some more advanced ones and some more basic ones. So make sure to watch till the end so you can find out all the hand signals. So the first one you probably know already and that is okay. So this is the signal to your buddy underwater that you are okay if they ask you a question. So okay on the surface is either this or this. So this is to signal people on the surface or on the boat if you're okay. Next one is going up or ascend. So this is not what you think it is on the surface. It's completely different underwater. It's not that I'm good, it's that you're going to go up. So make sure not to use this if you're saying okay. Make sure to do this. Do this if you want to go up or ascend. So the next one is go down or descend. So this is not the same as it is on the surface as well. It's not that I'm not good. It is to go down or descend. So the next one is this one. So this is something wrong. So this is how you tell your buddy that something is wrong with you or there's something wrong with the situation. And it can be combined with another signal to tell them what is wrong. So I would say something wrong with my ear. So this is something wrong with equalization. So if you say something wrong with my ear, then your buddy will know that there is something wrong with your equalization or something wrong with my tummy. These are common hand signals that you would use if something is wrong. So point to the place where it is, where it's wrong. This one is stop. Telling your buddy that you need to stop. So the next one is look. This tells the person or your buddy that where, if you need to look somewhere. So the next one up is three minute safety stop. So this is to tell your buddy that you want to complete your safety stop. So this sign is for the five meters and this sign is for the three minutes at the safety stop. So if you see this sign, this is your buddy asking you how much air you have left. Normally go like this. So you respond in numbers. And numbers from one to 10 are one, two, three, four, five, or five like that. So from five to 10 is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So this is for 100 bar. So the next one is cold. This is to tell your buddy that you are cold. So inhale and exhale. This is a sign that you tell your buddy when you want them to breathe. So this can be used in emergency situations or when your buddy is feeling anxious. Next one up is you lead and I follow. This <laughs> So this is tell your buddy that you want to either leave the dive or you want them to leave the dive. If you point at yourself first, then that means that you want to lead and you want them to follow. If you point at them, then you want them to lead and then you to follow. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the hand signals I've talked about today, please email us at support at I've included a link below. In the next video, I'll be talking about emergency hand signals, so make sure to check that out. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, or you want to receive more updates or scuba advice, scuba news, product reviews, anything like that, please make sure to click the subscribe button below and make sure to check out our playlist for more educational content. And wherever you choose to go to dive next, make sure you have happy dive adventures and stay safe.